You've made it this far. Why stop now? This is part three of three of Isaac Sticks Heart Cinema, episode ten point six six six. Well, <laughs> before you host, I like you to play something stupid. I like to put on stupid clips of movies that are awesome. So here's one. <laughs> I do like this though. I shall see you dead. Yeah. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boot. <laughs> the 12 gauge double barrel Remington. S Mart's top of the line. Find us in the sporting goods department. That's right, this sweet baby was made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Retails for about $109.95. It's got a walnut stock, cobalt blue steel, and a hair trigger. That's right. Shop smart. Shop S smart. You got that? Now I swear. The next one of you primates even touches me. <laughs> yeah, there's a back one. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. <laughs> I like how there's a there's a video on the side that says uh, Army of Darkness in, in five, five seconds. seconds and it's 48 seconds long. Well, because it has like a little build up thing and then it just goes oh, okay. to all the quick things. Um, N- Nick, are you opposed to that movie? What the hell? No, I, I like that movie. I would like to say that that is the podcast equivalent of listening to someone go through their ringtones while riding on a bus. <laughs> Just because the window's Just open. Just a tiny garbled mess. Yeah, well, this is what happens when your soundboard is YouTube. <laughs> if I wasn't using my phone, my phone would be my soundboard, but... One of these days, you'll get that studio you guys want, and you can One make day. your soundboard and just fill it up with chud quotes. <laughs> It'll happen, but until then, we'll just have to settle with my uh, <laughs> Galaxy 2. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. There now, you go. the moment I've been waiting for for a little over a month now. Um, who, what is the order? Do we play a game to determine order, or do we just have an uh, order? We'll go, we'll go Kelly to Scott to Drew. So Kelly picks whatever categories he wants. God damn right. God damn. No, shirt on. Uh, shirt on. Put it, Kelly, if you take that shirt off, you are gone. Put that fucking shirt on. You can take your pants off. That's fine. Yeah. But then we have to watch Godzilla. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> 98 Godzilla. 98, 98 Godzilla. Because uh, if Kelly ever watches Godzilla, he has to take his pants off to enjoy it. <laughs> it's just a rule. It's just a rule. Everybody has one pants off movie. Yeah. Is that why you mentioned Gene Reno? Because you love him so much? Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't just love him for Godzilla. He's From just an added form. bonus in Godzilla. Yeah. You know, he loves him for his impression of John Wayne chewing gum. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite movie! Yeah, that's a, that's a good movie. I've seen it once, and I'm surprised I actually remember that fucking scene. <laughs> yeah, that's the very <laughs> you kind said of this is French roast! It is French roast! Look! French roast! Ugh, more cream. <laughs> that is not the movie we were talking about. <laughs> See, I, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Like, that's one of like that's one of the few things that kind of glues our family together. You know, my, my dad, my brother, and I. Yeah. So when I saw that movie, I was just so vehemently filled with rage yeah. <laughs> that I didn't get to appreciate all the stupid shit in that movie. You and all of Japan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, have you ever heard the story of how the next movie they made in Japan of Godzilla? Godzilla. I've seen that. Movie. Oh, you have. Okay, and Godzilla kills the creature that looks exactly like America Godzilla. In, like, 45 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's called Godzilla Wars. It's a piece of shit. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's it is. It's actually worse than the American <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's movie, Japan's... But it's still not... But it's still a better Godzilla movie, if that makes sense. I love, I love that that's Japan's slap in the face to America. Like, hey, your movie was so bad that we're not even going to make a good movie to make fun of your shitty movie. <laughs> 
We're going to make a low-budget piece of crap just to show you how terrible your movie was. But we're going to one-up you with a Godzilla movie where Godzilla's only in it for legit five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Godzilla American Remake 2014. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're, they're, they're rebooting it, but I think they're making it not so gay. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be done by the guy who directed Monsters, which I still have not seen. It's okay. It's, okay. it's not great. A lot of people raved about it, but I mean, it wasn't yeah. bad. That's what I had heard. It came out just after or just before Cloverfield, didn't it? So it after. Got, yeah, after. So it got a lot of Cloverfield hype on it. 2010, I think. Right. It came out. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, this is my first time posting. Anyway, Kelly, your yes. categories are... Mm-hmm. Uh, from a previous conversation that I'm not sure Kelly was a part of, um, we were talking about movies with children in them, so Ew. we'll go with Shuffle This Mortal Slinky. <laughs> That's horror films in which children die. Yes! <laughs> awesome! Love it! Um, we will also go with Canned Laughter. Uh, horror movies featuring sitcom stars. <laughs> yes, that's a that's a text pun. You have to write that down to get it. And um, S, S laughter. Yeah, I like it. Canned laughter. Um, and then uh, let's go with just to keep it in order. Uh, talking heads. That's films featuring severed heads that talk. <laughs> <laughs> All great. All good choices. Uh... Dead kids. Dead kids. Yeah. Dead kids. Dead kids. Kelly. <laughs> All right. I want my fucking I, dead baby picture. I don't have it. Well, give it to me. Hope this guy kills more people. <laughs> All right. Um, I will go with, yeah, Mortal Slinky. Whatever. Shuffle this Mortal, Mortal Slinky. Slinky. Would you like a film from 1975, 2005, or 2008? Oh, 2008. 2008. Alright. This movie is three and a half stars. Alfred says of... Or Alfred, what the fuck? <laughs> Batman's <laughs> book? Alfred says of this movie. Uh, oh, it is thing. artfully staged. Photographed in widescreen. No shit. <laughs> and doles out moments of shock in leisurely fashion. 2008, three and a half stars. Three and a half? Three and a half. Wow. Three and a half stars. Okay. Sorry, I missed how many actors? Oh, I didn't tell you. I'm sorry. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten actors. Ten actors. Uh, all right, let's go with ten. Who, who's it going to? Scott or me? Scott? Um, Scott? Me. I will go with negative one. Ooh. Ballsy. 2008, dead kid, three and a half stars. Zeh. Could be kid Zeh. Kid Zeh. Yeah, could be a kid child massacre. <laughs> Is it Texas, Texas child massacre? Texas child saw massacre? Yeah. Child saw kill. <laughs> you, you, you're both stretching way too hard for that. Just took the chains, smacking people <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's uh, such a great mental picture. God, I really. <laughs> Fucking child saw. I guess. What sound would it make when you pull the chain? I guarantee. Wah! 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 <laughs> Mama! Mama! <laughs> Mama! 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 <laughs> um, I guarantee I've seen this movie and have already forgotten what it is. I and had an idea, but I think I, I had the wrong idea. I don't here. think I can go negative two, even if I knew it. Well, I probably could if I knew it. Uh, you name it, you dick. I'm pretty sure it's a movie that has come up today. A lot if of movies have come up today. If it, has, if it hasn't, then I'm wrong. But I was thinking, Casey Affleck, Gone Baby Gone. No, it is not. Fuck. It is. Let the right one in. Oh, oh. yes. Yeah. Shit. With Swedish names. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of. There's a lot of vowels on this list. <laughs> a lot of uh, umlauts. Dots above things and A's and E's <laughs> mashed into one letter. <laughs> Dot umlauts. I was a whole in... lot of ooh when you read their names. <laughs> a lot of ooh. I. 
Uh, I just thought of a great horror movie. Not even it's not even a horror. Well, it's kind of a horror movie. It has a oh god, a dead baby that is just the greatest moment. I don't know if you feast feast two feast two. Oh, have you yeah. ever seen feast two, Nick? I have not. Do you know what uh, feast one is? I have seen I have seen feast. Yes. Uh odd mo- thing. And feast? As, a ma- as a matter of fact, there's a dead kid in that. What? There's a dead kid in Feast, too. Oh, yeah, there's a dead kid in the first the, one. The child Absolutely. gets eaten. Yeah, what? there is. So we can't go with that movie, because that was the other one in the script. Oh, <laughs> we should have shut up. <laughs> well, to, to ruin that, unfortunately, the second one... Well, actually, I, w- I will see it, so, yeah, don't... Okay. Oh, okay, well, then I won't, but there... That's, uh, that's actually on my list to watch within the next week. I, I will okay. tell you... I will save you some time. Watch two. Two's good. You can fast-forward through most of three. I'm really only watching three because I've heard of the zombie luchadors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. which is that's the only that's which the is only silly. I really want to see but three. there is one great kid-related moment in two that you need to see. But uh, I uh, a very unknown fact. I guess not really unknown is um, executive. I think if they're executive producers on Feast is uh, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Is it? Yeah, because yeah, oh, it's yeah, a Project Greenlight movie. Yeah, Project Greenlight movie. And I think uh, in case what you want to know, since what's we already killed Craven it, I'll read the, the review that. Uh, Leonard gave feast. He calls it lore, uh, it's a bomb, obviously. Noisy, tedious ordeal. Doesn't have a shred of, of character development, plot, or suspense. And the director's father plays a bartender. <laughs> but it has Henry Rollins in pink... Uh, sweatpants. Sweatpants. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit! He's playing himself getting eaten by a fucking monster. Yeah. yeah. I don't care what Leonard says, that movie's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Leonard can suck the fattest wiener. Yeah, Leonard is definitely wrong on that one. Yeah, I agree. He is incorrect. All right, who got that point? Me, Drew. Because Scott didn't name it correctly. Yeah. So we'll go, we'll go Kelly. All right. Drew. So oh, that makes it Kelly's turn to pick. Yeah. yeah. All right, Kelly. Your categories are. There goes the neighborhood. That's horror films with alien invaders. Eh? I get by that. Uh, marine diology. <laughs> Sorry, that's what. Horror films with underwater evil. <laughs> and sticking with the kid theme, not recommended for all audiences. Genuinely frightening children's films. Oh. These are not specifically horror movies. These are children's films that are genuinely frightening. I know one that scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. We watched one of like Brett when he was here. Yep. Don't say it out loud. It might be the answer. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll go with <laughs> Marine Diology. <laughs> Marine Diology. Would you like a movie from... Probably a lot. 1997... 1999 or 1999. Uh-huh. 1997. 1997. I swear to God, I got it. This movie has two stars from Leonard. I got it. I'm so he honest. He says here. of it, hokey special effects and an expositionless script, and it is filmed in the L.A. County Arboretum. Picking up any of your dumb audio. How many? How many names? Well, you, you, from you, my end, it sounds like Jigsaw is talking to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pick one first, Kelly. Did I? You I did, picked ninety-seven. 97. Oh, you did pick this. You did just read the description. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Sorry. How many names? Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight names. No idea why I read that out because I actually had it circled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go with eight. Who's going to me, right? You. I want to be ballsy, and I hope that I... If I... See, I'm going to call it. I'm going to... Because if I get it right, I'm going to be the fucking man. So I'm saying negative one. It's all yours. Oh, God. Oh, I totally screwed myself over. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be a ballsy motherfucker and name this movie. That's what I did last time. It's fun. Is it... God, Kelly, I just, I have to do it. I have to say it aloud. I just have to do it right now. What? I have to say it. What? 
Is it Deep Blue Sea Thomas Jane? That's 1999. Damn it! <laughs> it is not. Yeah, you're right, it is 1999. It's yeah. one of the 1999 movies, so that one's killed too. Um, it stars Vincent Castellanos, Owen Wilson, Go on. Carrie Vorer, Jonathan Hyde, Eric Stoltz, John Voight, Anaconda. Ice Cube, and Jennifer Lopez, and a very large snake. The movie is Anaconda. Oh so is the snake top build? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you count the title? <laughs> That's true. Anaconda, starring oh, Anaconda. Damn it. They never Anaconda, did anything after that. Anaconda. <laughs> Who, the Anaconda? Yeah. Yeah, Anaconda never did anything after that movie. He's yeah. the Guy Pierce of Snakes. He's the Guy Pierce of Snakes. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. There was a DVD sequel and two TV sequels. Yeah, one yeah. starring David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Sad story is, of all the Anaconda movies, I own the Hasselhoff one. <laughs> I can see it from here. I can see him on the side of the DVD. Only the Hasselhoff one? Only the Hasselhoff one. That's weird. What if you owned them all? No, sure. Here's what it was. It was, it was Rogers, and it was buy one get one free, and I couldn't find anything else. And I'm like, this has to. Doesn't be mean you have to get terrible it. or awesome. Now I have to get it. Are you your dad? Are you yeah, dog? I'm a dad. You are your father's son. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a point for me. Fuck you, Scott. I wish you would die. Harsh, but I kind of wish that too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's point for me, point for Scott. Uh, so Kelly going to Scott? Kelly again, picking the categories. Nick! Alright, Kelly, <laughs> you have Take the, the option of... Um, let's do canned laughter. Okay. Uh, uh, talking heads. Or... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to add a new one. Low Down Dirty Shame. Classic horror movies I have not seen. Ooh. I'll go with Talking Heads. Talking Heads. Would you like a Talking Heads movie from... Way at the beginning of my notebook. 1985, 1987, or 1993? 85. 85. This movie is three stars... Leonard says it is a black comedy and entertainingly over the line. There are five names. Black comedy? Huh. Talking head. Sorry, what year? I wasn't... 85. 85. 85. Five names. I will say... I'll say five. Alright, five to... Scott. Scott. I will say four. Well, Scott, that was a very wise bid. <laughs> but I hope you can back it up. Because I'm going to say, name it. Oh, Alright, I'm getting four. Four movies. Or four names. Yeah, for I'll take four movie. movies. Fuck it. You get David Gale, Robert Sampson, Barbara Crampton, and Bruce Abbott. Hey, no Abbott! Movies. I hate that guy. <laughs> Helped precious little. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened to your baby, precious? I hate it! <laughs> Uh, give me the description again. Uh, he said it's a black comedy a and comedy. entertainingly over the line. Fuck. I bet I've seen it too, and it's really going to piss me off when I don't get it. Mm. Uh, Featuring a talking dismembered head. Talking dismembered head. <laughs> Fuck. I don't... Uh, it's wrong, but literally the only thing that comes to mind is uh, Blood Simple. Uh, the other name was Jeffrey Combs. The movie is Reanimator. Ah, ah, well done. Scott. Never seen it. I give you permission to die. <laughs> you gotta fly him. I win! 17 hours away. 17 hours there, <laughs> stay there for two days, 17 yeah, hours seven. home. Yeah.
in the middle of your siege. <laughs> yeah, I win! Point for everyone? Point for me. Sudden death? No. Or do you have two? You have two. Yes, you have oh. two. I thought Kelly. Blam! Shit. Now. I picked all the games. I won. So I want to do one thing before we leave. What? What do you want to is do? Is I did the specific category for this and then forgot to use it. So let's use it now and just have it for fun, <laughs> Leonard Malton. Fine. Sure. Get your hand out of there. Get my hand into where? Your crotch region? I totally spaced on it until I was sitting here thinking like, oh, I totally didn't use that. Now. The, the title of the category was Scott, why the fuck did you turn your iPad off? <laughs> yeah. The title of the category was The Master at Work. And I written it writ, People who masturbate at work? I wrote them down. Hey, actually, that's a pretty good one. But I, I wrote them down. Four movies. But I'm not going to use the three that are pre-1965. They were all... Uh, the, what I would view as the most important figure in the horror genre, which is Vincent Price. So they were all Vincent Price movies, but I'm going to use the one that is the easiest one. So, this movie is from 1990, three stars. Uh, it says it's a mixture of fairy tale elements and social satire. Loses its story momentum towards the end, but can't erase its charm of or good-natured humor. And there is two, four, six, eight, ten names. And it's nineteen ninety. And it's nineteen ninety, and it's a it has Vincent Price in it. Go, Scott. I'm calling you out. How many actors? Two, four, six, eight, ten. 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 Kelly. Oh my God. Eight. Nick. Seven. Seven. Name it. Name it. Nick. Your names are Dick Anthony Williams, hmm? Caroline Aaron, Conchata Farrell, <laughs> Kathy Baker, <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall, Alan Arkin. How many did you say? Eight? Eight. Seven. Two, four, no, seven, six. Yeah. And number seven is Vincent Price. Alan Arkin in this. It'll be Edward Scissorhands. Bam! Bam. Edward Scissorhands. The movie he made and died before it came out. Yeah. That's right. No, I guess he was still alive when it came uh, out, wasn't he? No, he, no, he, he died, died before it came out. But it came out... I thought he died in 93. That's what you said. That's, That's what I said. I thought he died in 90. I thought he died when the movie came out, before it came out, actually. Did yeah. Edward Scissorhands really come out in 1990? Yes, yeah. sir. Well, yeah, that, according that year I, confirm. I can't confirm what year Vincent According Price. to IMDb, it says he died October 25th, 1993. Oh, all right. Uh, he Fair made well. two he did he started on two TV series and he did some animated bullshit that nobody saw <laughs> called The Princess and the Cobbler. Tiny Toon Adventures. And he played Zigzag. But I guess that must that was his last like on-screen appearance. Uh, the other the other three that I had in the category were House on Haunted Hill, 1959, uh, The Raven, 1963, and House of Wax, 1953. Well, that's the one with Paris Hilton in it. Yes, it is. Paris Hilton <laughs> and Vincent Price are uh, an item in that movie. They fuck. Uh, they fuck. <laughs> they fuck. <laughs> Paris, get Between over the two, here. I think I'd rather fuck Vincent Price. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'd certainly rather fight 1959 Vincent Price. Like, old Vincent Price, it's kind of a toss-up between him and current Paris Hilton. He but. was he was very unfortunate when he was uh, in that movie. It, it actually made me quite sad to see him that, like, decrepit and old. But I guess yeah. everybody gets like that. Not if you kill yourself first. Imagine that. Go, somebody, who felt, imagine somebody who had feelings of sadness and remorse during a Tim Burton movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the one and only. Well... I do want to end with something that I couldn't find, but I found an even better thing. So sit through this because I demand you to. Are we doing this and? Oh yeah. Aww. Right. It's not gonna Dangerous. show up good on his though. What? Because he says it sounds like. Whatever. On his side. Don't don't even worry about it, okay? <laughs> Kelly. That's yeah. what I get for thinking about others. This is a two-minute trailer. Who cares? Oh, it's a VHS trailer, too.
trailer for a movie called The Vagrant, <laughs> which I so desperately want to see, but I can't find anywhere. What the fuck? What am I doing? I want to see it so bad, but I cannot find it anywhere. Well, first of all, I have to spell it with Oh, a. I did. So, yeah, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> no, it's fucking Marshall Bell was The Vagrant. Marshall Bell is The Vagrant? Yeah, that looks Quick. Like Wait, start the reactor. <laughs> that looks so weird. Uh, so, Nick, have you ever seen it, or do you have you heard of it? Um, I think I actually recognize the cover. <laughs> but then again, it looks like just a, your average midnight horror yeah. movie yeah. cover too. I I've heard a lot of ridiculous things about that movie, but I can't like it's not on like Netflix, it's not on Amazon, it's not secretly on YouTube like a lot of movies are. I can't find it anywhere. I love movies that are on YouTube in full. That's well, there's so many now, yeah. because there's so many ways to get around, like, yeah. the freaking copyright. And, like, a lot of older movies, that they, they, they don't even give a shit about anymore. I will say that there is one movie that I am desperate to see now, Scott, and I really want to see Jaws for the Revenge. I, I do want to see that, too. Looks awesome. So bad. Where he, I actually watched the first 15 minutes of that movie and turned it off. Ah. Uh, well, that's probably yeah. the correct response, well, yeah. but we will force ourselves to sit through that piece of trash... Because we... I want to see the shark with the personal vendetta against the family that when they fly from Maine to the Bahamas, the shark beats them there, beats their plane there, and is waiting for them. <laughs> at, at the terminal. <laughs> at the terminal. It is there in disguise with a sign and a limo, and it picks them up and then it eats them in the limo. That is how I remember this. Well... This was an exciting evening of recordings. This was. This will probably be split into more than one episode. Uh, for sure, because it's three hours and 13 minutes. Three episodes, <laughs> in fact. Here's the thing, though. Are we going to be able to split it up and still release it before Halloween? I have to get off my ass, because i got to release number nine as well, and this is number ten. You'll, so, be, you'll be alright, because it's not... They're going to become a rapid fire. Halloween's not this upcoming Wednesday. It's the next Wednesday. Yeah, So right. you So you have a, a week, and, week a and a half, so you'll be okay. Yeah. It's not like you'll be super rushed or anything. So there's gobbledygook on the wall. It's like, well, it says here that so-and-so... <gasps> and it looks like all the categories that I still have movies in, I can actually keep using, because they're not solely horror, except one. Yeah. Hmm. So, and I can just use it, because fuck it, I want to use it. But, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I can host now. Good. Right. Yeah. I have a book. Now everybody can host at some point, although some people's categories are better than other people's categories, whose names I will not mention because he's not in the room. You know who I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't for a second, but yeah, now I do. It's it's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> or his categories. Well, the thing with Dan is that he his ideas for categories is he takes a specific album and then makes categories based on the titles of the songs. He's only hosted once, and he did it with... Um, 
Bruce Springsteen's was it Thunder Road or something? Thunder Road, I think. Born in the USA? No, yeah, I was born in the USA. So he just made categories based on songs on that album, and they were okay, I guess, but... Did they, tra- did they actually work with the movies that he used? Well, he did, like, because one of the songs was, like, Born in the USA. So he made movies about biographical pics of American famous people. Americans. Famous Americans, okay. right? Like, but, so, it, I mean, they were okay, but he's only hosted once. So maybe if he did another one, they'd be better. Uh, yeah, I guess, are we going to wrap these uh, shindigs up? Let, uh, yeah. let Nick do his, whatever he's going to do at 12 o'clock, whatever 12.30. Late night Saturday businesses. Probably watch a horror movie. I like that. I do like that. Uh, furiously masturbate. And furiously masturbate to said horror movie. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pull out Godzilla and masturbate to Gene Reno. My man. <laughs> I like it. Uh, now, Kelly's done. <laughs> is there any? I just gonna quickly ask here. What is the? What is one of the worst horror movies you've seen? Not on the concept of like. Uh, like, you know, Acting. poor CGI, or, like, just based on, like, it takes itself way too seriously, it tries way too hard to be scary, and it's absolutely not. Can you think of any movies you've seen that are, like, that you just think are terrible horror movies? Um, I mean, pretty much, like, any one of the big mainstream, oh my god, that movie's so scary! <laughs> I never, never have I ever been like, wow, that movie is really scary, except, like, you know, The Shining and Jaws, the movies you've already talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you guys mentioned The Ring. I do not you... find The Ring scary at all. However, there is one that, when I think about, I honestly get annoyed because <laughs> I don't know why people like this fucking movie, and it's The Sixth Sense. I'm not a huge fan of it either. It's okay. I fucking but it's... hate that movie, and I hate when people talk about that movie mm. because it tells you the ending in the first goddamn scene. <laughs> And if you don't understand that that's what happened, if you don't get the, you know, like, oh, God, he was dead the whole time. Spoilers, pricks. Um, <laughs> oh, if you don't get that in the first scene, you're bad at watching movies. <laughs> well, this takes it back to last time we podcasted, I think, or I don't even know if we were podcasting, we were talking about it. No, we were. And you were saying how... Because we were talking about, I know who killed me, and the whole using the colors to yes. determine things, and you brought up the fact that the sixth sense, you're like, oh. It does it a little more subtly. It, it does it a little more subtly, but yeah, it's pretty, yeah. if you pick up on it, you're fine. But, uh, Kelly, any horror movies that make you furious? Well, I'm sure there is. I'm sure. Can't think I'm, of any off the top of your head? Not off the top of my head. I'm sure I've mentioned something to you. I know for, for one movie that absolutely made me furious. Here's the thing, is I have a very... Good. Okay, I have a very close acquaintance who we, who we shall call Tristan, who's also rap boy. A, he's rap boy. He's a very big horror fan, like huge horror fan. In fact, F- future guest. Nah, probably. I'm sure we can get him around eventually. But he like he's such a um like a diehard for like late seventies, early eighties. Um, like slasher films, kind of right. Uh, he bought me the three pack of Slumber Party Massacre, which I watched number one and never watched two and three because I didn't. It's not my kind of movie, but um, he was so uncontrollably hard for the remake of Black Christmas. What? And he kept talking about it and kept talking about it. He saw it in theaters. He said it was great. I watched that movie and it was so unbearably bad because they were taking it so seriously like it was such a terror terrifying movie like everybody who sees this is going to be shitting their pants later and it was so fucking brutal and nobody in that movie could act and they i think they kind of i think they made carrie fisher in that she's in that movie i think yeah she is and uh, uh, just uh, un- wait, like, wait 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 are you talking about the remake yeah the remake no the remake she was in um Oh, um, so, uh, Sorority, Sorority Row. House or House Sorority, of Sorority Row. Row. Yeah, but okay. they both sucked. But yeah, Black Christmas. <laughs> he he built it up so hard, and then when I finally saw it, I, I could not have been more mad at at a build up to a movie than I was with that. Okay, I, I, I remember. I got two off the top of my head. Uh, the Descent Two, because yeah. it was fucking pointless. Yeah, it was absolutely. Pointless. And the first one was really good. This one could not even hold a candle to it. Mm-hmm. And like a lot of things happened that were just dumb. And yeah, kind I agree. Of just, it just did not make sense to me. Uh, just the movie being made itself. Yeah. 
Uh, the second one was, and I was looking forward to it, and I thought it had, it could have had a lot of potential, but of course it gets fucked up, because it's a mainstream horror film. Yep. Uh, alone in the Dark. You might be alone on yourself with this one, Kelly. Oh, no, sorry, not, sorry, not Alone in the Dark. Um, don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Oh, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, because not only is it a Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro movie, which he does good things, I think. He does, yeah. yeah. But the 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 build up for that movie and the was good. and like the the trailers and yeah. the the teasers and everything for that movie built it up so good. Yeah, I I thought it was a major letdown. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you did you see it, Nick? Did he direct that or did he just produce it? He just produced it. He didn't direct it, but I mean he was involved was in it, right? The creatures were definitely it's Guillermo not. del Toro creatures, like. Yeah. But did you see it at all? I didn't. I saw the trailers, but honestly, I I saw it and then my mom. I, I saw the trailers and I was like, oh, I really want to see that. My mom saw it, and my mom's like, this movie's fucking terrible. Yeah. Um, which, when it comes to horror, I mean, it's... I really honestly do kind of respect my mom's opinion. That That's pretty much the only genre where I respect my mom's opinion, if something is bad. Yeah. Now, she also likes another movie that follows in this category. She loves the Final Destination movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. I fucking can't... That's another movie that just irritates me that people like, because yeah. death... Is a shitty villain. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure, Death for sure. Is a villain in every movie, yeah. horror or not. Death is a villain in every movie. Yeah, it's, it's a, a shitty premise. It's a natural a villain. villain. In the movie. Horrible, just well, retarded. In in the best way to make your mom excited about our city is all those movies were filmed here, and one of them was actually filmed at the bottom of the street where Dan and used to be Chewy, where their apartment building is. Like, yeah. number three or four has, like, a scene that's filmed right at the bottom of their street. Do me a favor. <laughs> go out and buy paint and just spray paint all over your fucking city so they can never make another one of those <laughs> again. Well, I like how they made one, the fourth one, that was called The Final Destination. And then, and then like, two years later, like, oh, Final Destination 5. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a horror movie rule, though. I, mean, I know. Final Friday. And, yeah. Uh, Final Nightmare. Freddy's, Freddy's Nightmare Dead. Or all that shit. Yeah. yeah. Freddy's dead. Freddy, yeah. So, I, um, and then I also thought of another one that just I don't understand the series. I, the, I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, is Saw? I just don't yeah. fucking understand any of the Saw movies. I don't know why anybody likes them. I get the appeal of like messed up things happening that are supposed to creep you out. But as a movie themselves, they're all just garbage. Number one, I like the idea of two guys trapped in a room trying to figure out how they got there, and then at the end, it turns out that the one guy was in on it, and blah blah blah. blah. But the after um, that spoilers. Oh fuck off! <laughs> after the first one, though, like you did not need six sequels to that goddamn franchise. Well, yeah. I no, know. like sometimes you just like it, it went from the point where it was like they were trying to make it a good horror movie, they were trying to make you really think about it, to like, oh well, we're just gonna jab this person with a bunch of needles, like, oh, we're just gonna have a shotgun go off and blow off people's chests, like. Now you're just getting to the point where you're just doing messed up things to try and get a rise out of people, and it didn't even work. And I, I just, I, I wonder it. if when they went to the studio to pitch it, they just they just laid down a VHS copy of Seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think isn't it wasn't it um, a Japanese franchise or something? No, it was. It's actually um, uh, one of the guys is Australian, and then it was James Wan. They're they're film students. They they went to film. They went to film school together and um, made a short. And then they sold the short to whoever owns the goddamn franchise. Oh, okay. All right. I, I thought, I thought are, it was a little bit. Yeah, one of them is Australian and one of them is. Uh, oh. um, I think he's American. James Wan, I think, is American. Yeah. An another movie that just came to mind that uh, I was really excited for. I wanted to see the original as opposed to the American remake, but I saw the American remake first, and it kind of ruined it for me. Uh, was Silent House. Oh, yeah. yeah. I loved the concept of it, like yeah. one continuous shot throughout the entire oh, house. It's not actually one I know it's not one continuous shot, but the idea of it being yeah. one continuous shot all the way through uh, was crazy, but then the actual movie itself was a major letdown. I only watched that movie a, a second time to see down blow shots of Elizabeth Olsen. Because she's the only hot Olsen. And the only good actor. Uh, oh, yeah. Did, uh,. Was it the American version that wasn't one continuous shot, or yeah. were both of them not one uh, continuous the, shot? The Colombian one was one continuous shot. This yeah. one, they tried to do it in one continuous yeah. shot, the, the American and ones, they couldn't do it. Yeah, the American one's in real time. Real time, yeah, but there is but there is technically cuts. Yeah. Right. 
But I, I, as far as I understand, they did, like, it's not like, uh, you know, like they do 30 seconds cut, 30 seconds cut. I think they did, like, long, like 15 minutes yeah, and then cut, and then long, 20 minutes and then cut. Sure. Yeah. Like, they tried to do it as long as they could. I don't know how they were able to do it with the Colombian one, but I really wanted to see that one first. It just so happens that, the, uh, that I had the chance to see the American one, and I was like, well, I'll, I'll just go see it. And then I saw it, and it sucked, and I saw the uh, Colombian one, and I was like, well, now I already kind of know what's happening, so it's yeah. not... It definitely has a messed up ending, though. I'm not really a fan of the ending. Love it. You would love it. Yep. You weirdo. Yep. It's definitely an ending for weirdos. <laughs> oh, 100%. But yeah, I sometimes see. For me, I think I'm a re, I'm really picky about. I'm not even really picky. I'm really skeptical and really critical of horror movies because I will see all of them and I will see any of them and I generally compare them always to the good ones. So sometimes I'll see a movie and I'll think it's terrible, yeah. just because I'm comparing it to something else. I don't usually do that with other movies. Like if I see a comedy, I don't say, "Oh, that one wasn't as funny as this one." I'll just be like, "Yeah, it was fun. It was funny. Whatever." But when I see horror movies, I definitely go like, oh, well, first of all, it was just a complete rip-off of this one, which is a great movie, so why would I bother seeing this one? I don't mind movies like if they're an homage to something, but if the movie itself is basically just like, wow, they this movie really looks like it's... Like, for instance, this, mo- this movie really likes Jaws. But if the movie keeps reminding me of Jaws in the sense of like, wow, Jaws did this scene a lot better. Wow, Jaws had this character a lot better. If it's making me think, I should just fucking watch Jaws, then I'm going to watch Jaws. That's yeah. the exact reason I never watched. I watched two episodes of Fringe, and I was like, wow, X-Files, X-Files is, is a lot better. better. And I just went yes. back and watched the X-Files. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, a movie that I suggest you never see then is Shark Night. <laughs> I, after, after I saw Piranha 3D and just had a fucking blast, I read about Shark Night and then saw the trailer, and I was like, oh, well, this is just a fucking Disney Channel version of Piranha, then. I don't want to watch this. Hmm. I, when I first saw and trailers I, for it, I legitimately thought they were remaking Jaws. <laughs> and then when I saw I'm like, oh, there's, like, multiple sharks. I'm like, okay, it's not remaking Jaws. They're just making a shark movie. Yeah. But it was, it was just way too silly. And, like, the CGI was terrible. Like, horrible. Like, their budget was probably pretty high. Oh. And they spent all of their money, like, renting boats and renting the waterfront property. And then they realized, shit, we have no money left. Let's just use a sci-fi channel budget of sharks. Fuck, I just saw a movie that I completely hated when we went and saw it. The Village. The Ruins. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, The Ruins was pretty bad. Yet I own it on DVD. But it was pretty like bad. Movies, yeah. I own a lot of shitty movies, though, so it's fine. But yeah, The Ru- Ruins was pretty bad. I liked the premise, but the actual movie, not that good. I know we're knocking on four hours door, but real quick, uh, underrated horror movies. Ooh, that's a tough underrated one. Stuff. Underrated horror movies. I'll go through for you guys to give you guys some time because I do honest, I got a few in mind. One is the Bad Seed. Uh, it's a movie from the fifties or sixties. Um, it's very, very good in that it's about a it's about a little girl that is evil and like she's just a horrible, horrible human being. She's a cunt. And like she kills people and she's just she's ba- it's like the good son yeah, from the fifties. I was gonna say that. Uh, like the good is she very very good. The, that actress, the little kid, is just phenomenal in that role. Um, way underrated. Not a lot of people know about it. The Bad Seed. Um, hmm. I really, really like Tales from the Crypt's Demon Knight. Yes! I like Royal <laughs> Blood. Yes! We're giving you, a, you got two big supporters so here for that. You got a, it was great. You got a so mad double high five for me and Kelly because we both <laughs> love that goddamn movie. Billy Zane Man, is great. the man. Bunch yeah, of Demon down, Knight is so good. Is? And the soundtrack is amazing! Yeah, Pantera uh, and... Uh, let's see, Bad Seed, Demon Knight. I have one. Uh, it's right. a movie called The Host. Yeah. It's a yeah. it's a Korean monster movie. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Yeah. And it's like it's on my list. I haven't seen it. Oh, yet. it's great. You need to see it. It's a great mix of uh, of monster movie and suspense, but and there's also weird. like weird stuff. There's a lot of weird stuff, and there, but there's a, good, a decent amount of comedy that isn't like silly cheesy comedy. Yeah. It's like actually funny stuff built into it. It's great. Yeah. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. Uh, House of the Devil's really good. I know a lot of people didn't see that because it was not didn't have a theatrical release, but uh, Ty West did it. 
Oh yeah, and yeah, that's it, that's it, a really good movie. That it's a real good homage that movie to like came very close to honestly scaring me, but it was it? it's, it's but I think it was more for nostalgia reasons than anything else because it's such an Second 80s shelf. movie. It's awesome. yeah, no, yeah, I, I love the fact that it's filmed like it's an eighties movie. It, it's great and like it's filmed with eighties stock. Yeah. It uses eighties sound equipment. Yeah, um, everything is genuinely from you know. The mid, the mid to late 80s. It's, yeah. it's a great, it's, yeah, it's love a it. masterpiece. And uh, I, I love the fact that uh, the, uh, I don't know what, what to call him, the, f- the old man, the priest, the father, whatever the hell you want to call him. Uh, I, I love that guy, the actual actor. Uh, he's Tom Noonan. Yeah, he's in... Um, love it. He's in Last Action He's in Last now. Action Hero, but he's in uh, Hell on Wheels, which is a show that I watch now, and he's really good in that. Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's awesome in that movie. In that movie. Uh, I don't know. I'm like, and then on the same Ty West thing is, I I think The Innkeepers is a great movie. So, I mean, if you have, if I know you didn't, see, you said you hadn't seen it, right, Nick? I haven't seen it yet. No, but it's I on your may list. Actually, end up watching. We're either gonna watch that, The Gate, or The Blob tonight. Oh, the blob. The, the blob! I love The Blob. The Gate is okay. It's. Um, I don't think I've seen The Gate. Is it? Oh, the the eighties The Gate. Or, yeah, the eighties The Gate. Yeah, with the demons. Yeah, that. Yeah. The Gate too, I enjoyed a little more, but uh, Gate's all right. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, that's I don't I think I haven't seen the Gate. I've seen the Blob. Blob's pretty funny, but really awesome. But uh, Innkeepers, I yeah, it's it's really good. It's uh, a lot different than I expected it to be when I saw it or when I saw previews for it. Uh, Ty West doing some good stuff. I still haven't seen VHS. Have you seen VHS? Not yet. I can't bring myself to actually sit sit down and watch it. Mm. Yeah, I. I the found footage cheeky cam stuff really it's gotten old it really turns me off pretty yeah, quick yeah. and I'm afraid that that movie's going to have a lot of it in it well, I have heard that it's pretty uh, pretty gruesome though it's, yeah it's I got have some, heard that as well some... I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it yeah yeah, I, I want to see it but I haven't gotten around to it uh, yeah yeah I'll, I'll definitely back up the host because it was awesome and uh if Cabin in the Woods can be considered underrated or a horror movie, yeah. then, then certainly it's good for that. <laughs> well, I know a lot of people didn't see it at first because they thought it was some stupid, cheesy slasher film. And it so and couldn't then, be further from Yeah, that. I know. It was incredibly awesome. Yeah, that's, yeah, I that's, really wish that movie wasn't ruined for me. I wish I just went into it thinking it was just a, a slasher movie. Yeah, I, and I, I, just I, so I, I could have had that great reveal. But Yeah. I didn't enough know. Of it, there's enough of it that I didn't know, so yeah. even though I picked, I pegged it from the very beginning. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was a slasher movie going in. I went in knowing that the less you know, the better. So right. that's what I knew. And um, what else was I thinking? Um, oh, uh, Guillermo del Toro came up. Uh, one of his earlier ones, uh, The Devil's Backbone, Backbone. Yeah. is is interesting. It's uh, I want to see it. I haven't seen it before, but I really yeah, want to see it. It's pretty cool. That's on my list too. Um, yeah, I, I do want to see that. I thought of a couple more. One, I don't know. A lot of people don't are like shit all over it when it came out, but I thought uh, Mirrors was really good with Kiefer Sutherland. Not seeing that one. No, that's pretty good. That's I think it's a remake of a Asian movie or something, but it's really good. I thought like cause it's it's a lot of just Kiefer, like he's playing off of himself and the demony things that are going around around him. So it's, I thought it was really good. Uh, and the other one, I don't know if it's really underrated, but um, God damn it, Misery is a yeah. fucking great movie. Yes. It is a great movie, but I, I, I don't know if it's really considered underrated. I know a lot of people haven't seen it. so. Uh, but then again, Kelly and I are super gay for anything Stephen King. So, <laughs> yeah. um, Like I, The Mist? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. We're the two people who love The Mist the most. Um... <laughs> I just like the one of the reasons I like the Mist because it was one of the like, it was like a lot of people didn't like it, but it was like one of the few kind of monster movies that came out like yeah. late. Like, like there hasn't been movies, a lot yeah. out lately. But is, anyway. the mist, is it the Mist or the Fog that has the dark fucking ending? That's the Mist. Right? Yeah, that's the Mist. Yeah. Oh, great ending. God damn. I kind of thought I kind of thought the Mist would be in the, the category of when children. Oh yeah, when children get killed. Yeah, uh, for sure. But um, I would say for me, an underrated horror film. I mean, not necessarily because it's scary or that, but just because it's really fucking weird and it takes an uh, a really odd direction from the genre is Ginger Snaps. Yeah, mm, yeah, 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 for sure. It's, it's I've not seen that. I keep I it's keep good. putting it's, it off. I need to see it's, it. It's pretty good. good. Yeah. It, it's it's really weird and it totally takes the werewolf genre. It's in definitely a, a odd, different werewolf. Movie. Yeah, it's different. So yeah, uh, I'm not thrilled with the. Werewolf monster at the end because it's fairly low budget. Yeah, 
but everything up to that, really good. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think you need any of the sequels. No. no, 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 no. But I think all the sequels were like straight to DVD, weren't they? Yeah. Two might have got a Two release. Might have, I don't yeah, know. maybe. Um, uh, three for yeah. sure. And this is going to go without saying, but I need to say it for anybody who's listening that's not a horror person. You need to see an American Werewolf in London. Yeah. yeah. You oh, need, yeah. You need to see favorites. that fucking movie. That is a, that is an incredible movies. movie. And the Howling. And not an American Werewolf in Paris. No, no. I don't know if I've ever seen the whole Howling. I've seen parts of you, it. You, okay, for the Howling, if you want, you just need... If you you really need to see Transformation scene, Transformation scene. Which I think is, is all I've seen. That's all I've seen. Yeah. I've, you know what? I, sadly, I've seen Wolf, and I haven't seen... Wolf is great, too. Howling. That's another underrated one. <laughs> yeah. James Spader. Uh, this may not count, because it's a fairly well-known movie, but I don't feel as though it kind of stuck up in the genre, in the realm that it should have... The remake of Thirteen Ghosts. Uh, I never saw that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuinely, genuinely scary in some points. Yeah, some and of those creatures are pretty has, goddamn awesome. You've got F. Murray Abraham, Matthew Lillard, and Tony Shalhoub chewing up scenery like they're a bunch of <laughs> fucking locusts. <laughs> <in a basement. laughs> and it's a William Castle movie, basically. Yeah. The yeah. Dark Castle movies are the first couple of Dark Castle movies. Oh, really, really fun. F. Murray um, Abraham. Thirteen Ghosts, Ghost Ship, and uh, House on Hunted Hill. Those those three movies are a lot of fucking fun. Those yeah, are they good actually remakes. Are. They are really good. Yeah, they yeah. had that William Castle feel to it. So good. Um, um, if, if, two more. Uh, Chopping Mall, the Killer Robots <laughs> mall movie from the eighties. <laughs> haven't seen it. I love, love the idea. This movie so much. concept sounds great. Uh, it's it's really good. It's honestly it's a movie that I would like to see a remake of in the in the same vein as like Piranha or My Bloody Valentine because Cor- uh, Corman movies when they're remade can be financially successful like yep. Death Race was and legitimately entertaining like Piranha 3D was. Uh, and then the other one I was gonna mention just a movie that I watched last year for because uh, I did a 31 days of Halloween thing which. Jesus Christ, that will really tax your brain. <laughs> um, 31 horror movies in 31 days. Oh my God. By day 12, you're just exhausted. Because you just can only see so much. Yeah, I bet. Um, I, I'm assuming I'm not speaking for Drew on that point. But, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Night of the Creeps. Saw it last year, and I just keep going back to it. It's a really fun movie. And it's... I haven't seen it in a long time. Not so much scary, but it's a good monster movie. I like more monster movies yeah. than I do horror movies. I, I don't do. watch movies to get scared. I watch movies for... Monsters. You know, over-the-top <laughs> kills. Yeah. Or, you know, the sets. Or Blood makeup. Guts. Like, I watch movies to have fun. Yeah. And when I watch horror movies, I want to watch monster movies because they're fun. Yeah. Well, Kelly and I definitely love a stupid, stupid horror movie that is just silly. And that's a movie called Big Bad Wolf. Oh, yeah. And it's, the movie is, there's nobody in the movie you've ever heard of, yeah, well, with the exception of the guy who plays the big bad wolf, because he is the bad guy in Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> <laughs> and essentially what it is, is it's like, it's like, I think... No, I, no, it's it's um, it's him, and also, um, what's his name from, uh, he, pl- he plays the cop uh, from the uh, original, uh, the American Werewolf in London. Uh, what's his name? Ooh. David, um... Alan Greer. No, not Dag. <laughs> it's not Dag. Uh, I think it's David something. Uh, what's his name? Uh, go down. I'm looking up. Calm down. Uh, well, Richard Tyson is the bad guy, and he's the one from freaking Kindergarten Cop. I don't know, man. Clint Howard? No. Nope. Clint Howard's in it. Hmm. So you know it's good, because Clint Howard only does quality movies. Clint Howard only does movies that Ron Howard says no to. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of a different movie. You might be thinking of a different movie. I don't know. There must There is a cop, but I don't remember what he... Anyways, regardless, it's got nobody that you've ever heard of other than Clint Howard and the guy who's the bad guy in Kindergarten Cop. But it's like, I mean, graph, or, um, the, the actual beast itself, hilarious. There are so many funny lines in it and so many good kills. But it's like a pretty low-budget movie. I don't know if it's... Um, just a Canadian movie or not? Because I mean, I don't. I didn't get a theatrical release or anything, but uh, uh, no, it says USA. But yeah, I don't know. It's really, it's really great. Um, and then, oh god, a movie, horrible movie. I have a soft spot spot in my heart for it because it is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. Is uh, <laughs> Santa's sleigh with, oh, Goldberg. <laughs> with Bill Goldberg? <laughs> 
I saw that last year part of the Halloween thing too. <laughs> that is a lot of fun. Oh, it is hilarious. There's so many good oh, Goldberg oh, one-liners. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, when he goes in the strip club, <laughs> and I love the fact that his uh, his reindeer is like a bison. <laughs> That's oh, it's such a fun movie. I refuse to watch it on the grounds that a Jew is playing Santa. <laughs> even if but he's evil, Santa. even if it's an evil Santa, and he's jacked to shit. <laughs> like Goldberg did so many roids for that movie. Yeah, for that. Because he had to be well, yeah, for life. But for he everything. had but he had to do it to be huge for that movie. God damn, he was awesome. <laughs> But by all accounts, that movie is horrible. <laughs> I don't know. Like I can, I honestly can talk about fucking horror movies forever. Yeah. Well, we have for three and a half hours. Forever. <laughs> forever. Forty-five minutes. Yep. Three forty. This is gonna be a four-part episode that you got to get all out by Halloween. Let's do one part. <laughs> one part. I'm sure everybody's gonna listen to our one part. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like I fucking. You know what the one thing that I think is... There's two uh, way overdone genres. One is vampires, but that's yeah. only because of fucking Twilight. Um, and the and other one... Found footage. Uh, you know what? Found footage is, is... I don't hate it as much as everybody else does. I don't really like it that much, but a thing that I find really overdone is goddamn possession movies and yeah. exorcism movies. Yeah. yeah. Way it's, too it's, overdone. There's been a string of them since, like, the mid-2000s. Yeah, they just pump them out, like, five a year. And, like, like the last good one I saw was The Last Exorcism. Yes, I was Which say, is great. Yes, I was gonna say that's another But for one. every Last Exorcism, there's Devil Inside Me, there's The Possession. Exorcism there, of Emily Rose. Exorcism of Emily Rose, which is really bad. Uh, Exorcism is the beginning. Yeah. Which is... Just, like, there's so many bad ones. Like, I get it. Like, people get possessed. It's cool, but you don't it's need cool. to make seven a year. What I don't understand is who's going to see these movies. Like, it's not like The Exorcist, where you have Catholic churches telling people to go see this movie. Like, who's watching them now? Like, I think it's... Catholics yeah. aren't watching these movies The now, idea... All well, the idea for it, I think, shit. is they market it towards, like, groups of girls at, like, slumber parties and shit, watching it and getting scared. Like, it's not... I don't think it's generally directed towards adult males who are going to think it's stupid. I think it's directed towards, like, teens and tweens. Right? Because they're the only ones that find that kind of stuff scary. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have many teenage girlfriends. Well, I don't either, but I think that's... That's your first problem. Yeah, that's that's an issue. (laughs) Drew can help you there. Ha ha ha. Maybe. Um... (laughs) Yeah, but like I think that's who it's generally aimed towards is aimed towards kids who find that shit scary. I don't know. Like I don't find that stuff scary at all. Even like The Last Exorcism was a good movie. I didn't it find it scary no, but at it was all. Good. But it was a good god movie and it had a great end and like everything in that movie is have, have you seen it, Nick? The Last Exorcism so, of, or what did you which no, one? Uh, the, the Last, last Exorcism. The Last Exorcism. No, I haven't seen it. It's good. You I've should, heard good things yeah. about it, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, you should add it to your list of million of movies you need to see. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's great. It's got some a great story, great plot, uh, pretty decent acting. The main actor played the prof the professor on uh, Saved by the Bell: The College Years. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, and uh, he still looks just as young as he did when he was in the college years. Yeah. Fuck, thirty one days of movies. I mean, I like I love Halloween. Halloween's my favorite time of the year by yeah. far and I love horror movies but I don't think I could do it for three oh, an- days. Another one that's really good is 30 Days of Night. Yes. I, do, I yeah. That's a very very good movie because it's like a, it's like a graphic novel right? And I like the concept of it being dark. For yeah, like that's a great vampires concept. Vampires coming out. I like that. Um, and then I might be alone on this one. Well, maybe. I think the only person I have to worry about is Nick. Uh, I, I love the Rob Zombie reboot of Halloween but not the second one. I've only seen the first one. Pretty good. And number yeah, one, it was. number yeah. one's great. Number two is horrible. It's garbage. He literally like, that, that was literally just them forcing a sequel out of Rob Zombie. But to be fair, I I loved House of a Thousand Corpses when I first saw it. Now I don't really like it as I'm much. When we just watched. Yeah, it. Scott and I just watched it not too long ago, and it wasn't really that good. And then uh, except Rain Wilson. Rain Wilson and Chris Hardwick are the yeah. only good parts of that movie. And Bill Mosley's good. Uh, but then Devil's Rejects, I liked it when it came out. But now that I watch it, not so much. I have seen the previews for his new one, and it looks fucking insane because he's doing it in the style of like the like late seventies, early eighties Italian horror movies. 
Yeah. Yeah, and it looks crazy. Like, just... I do want to see that. Just evil... I'm a big and... Rob Zombie fan as far as music. Right. I don't like any of his movies. I try, and I just fucking cannot get into them. Mm. He, the guy just doesn't understand pacing. No, not at all. No, he has absolutely no pacing. Uh, I do like the fact that it, the guy who plays uh, Michael Myers in the movies... It oh. is definitely former WCW wrestler Big Sky. Tyler Mayne. Tyler Mayne. Yeah, Mayne. Sabretooth. 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 Sabretooth, yeah. yeah. Former partner with Kevin Nash when Kevin Nash was... Vinny Vegas? No, it was before Vinny Vegas. Oz. They were Big Sky. Mas- and... Master Blaster? No. He had a name like Big Sky. Oh, uh, yeah. I know what you mean. I don't remember. But yeah, they were a tag team in like really like early Bruce. 80s yeah. WCW or like NWA. Yeah, like late, late 80s. I thought it was... Pretty early, like Kevin yeah. Nash was pretty young, I think. Yeah, but Nash didn't start till like the mid eighties. Okay, well, maybe yeah. it was mid eighties then. <coughs> but anyways, I, I I like the first one. I absolutely hated the second one. I'm glad they didn't do a third one. I'm glad. Well, I didn't even see the second even one. if they did a third one, Zombie said he wasn't going to do it, so that's fine. Did you see the uh, somebody actually made an animatic to pitch to Dimension before Michael uh, before uh, Rob Zombie was attached to make their Halloween remake? Uh, he released it a couple weeks ago. Um, it's like the first nine minutes. It's really good. I do not like. I do not like Michael Myers. Do not like Halloween. Yeah. Never got into yeah. it. Yeah, me neither. As many times as if I've watched it. Nope. Um, but this animatic looks really good. Hmm. Huh. I would actually like to see that Halloween remake. Is he I'll try-, try and find it. I'll send it to you. Is he trying to convince the studio to reboot it? No, this was when they were going to reboot it. Oh. He was trying to throw his hat in the ring. Oh, okay. Um, Instead of zombie. zombie was Instead of zombie. Oh, okay. okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. That's interesting. That hmm. actually reminds me of another underrated movie. A movie that catches way too much shit, because it's a lot of fun. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. <laughs> <laughs> love it, 100%. It I is love that, that shit ridiculous. ridiculous. Silly. I was hoping he was going to say Halloween H2O. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Halloween three, so good. No Michael Myers, just in one hundred percent different plot. Yeah. Insane plot. Just oh man. Yeah. I can, I can is that, that is Michael Myers even referenced? Oh no. It has nothing is that nothing the, is to do. Is that the one where it's Myers. like where it's like all those kids at like that rehab facility, or am I thinking of Jason movie? Of a Jason movie. It's not a rehab facility. They, but it's like the fat kid and then he gets killed? Or am I thinking of Friday the thirteenth? Th- you're thinking 13th. of Friday the thirteenth. The um yeah, Halloween three is these this uh, sinister group of people are gonna air this thing on TV. Um, the first, no, first they're gonna get these kids to buy their brand of Halloween masks, and then they're gonna air this thing on TV on Halloween. That when they watch it wearing the mask, Realize it them. kills them. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 killing them is their sacrifice to the Dark Lord or something. And it's so fucking crazy. <laughs> hmm. And it is the ultimate Christian horror movie. Yes. It's evil pagans. Yeah, evil yeah. pagans. <laughs> oh, man. That sounds awesome. I love it. I love. And the lead hero is Tom Atkins. I love that, man. Yes. Hmm. I love that... Uh, if Halloween 3 wouldn't have been as ridiculous if it was Halloween 2. Because if they had made Halloween and it was Michael Myers, then Halloween 2... Different plot, fine. Maybe Halloween 3 is going to be a different plot as well, but no. Halloween, Michael Myers. Halloween 2, Michael Myers. Continuation. Halloween 3, some other shit, whatever. <laughs> and then um, Halloween 4, back to Michael Myers. Uh, a movie, it's it's a it's a bad movie, but it's a fun movie, uh, for me at least, is Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> yeah, that movie's silly as shit, it's but it's, silly it's, as shit. Yeah, it's fun to watch. A, c- I, I a scene from Freddy vs. Jason filmed on my uncle's front lawn. Sweet. Yeah. Right, what did you say, Nick? I said I unabashedly love that movie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great fun. Um, and the chick, the chick is so hot, the main chick. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I thought you were going to say Kelly Rowland, but I would punch you because she's... Because she's... She's, a, she's a wrong guy. Um, I, a good one that I was just thinking of because I looked at it on my DVD wall... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm probably got some international thing. It's a Canadian movie. Uh, it's called Cube. I've not seen that. I've heard a lot about it, though. It's great. It's, it's kind of a horror movie, but it's more of like, um... Suspense? Suspense, thriller? like, suspense thriller, kind yeah. of, but it's really good. It's, um, it's got some just crazy shit going on, uh, and then... It's like a not-stupid-saw, sort of, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's a yeah. pre-saw, because it's, like, 2000. 
Yeah, or I thought or earlier. I thought. Yeah, okay, maybe. I thought like I thought like the sequel was two thousand or something. Uh, sequels like two thousand four, and okay. then the third sequel is like two thousand seven. Okay. Uh, don't see two or three. They're both horrible. No, they're dumb. Um, and then another movie, like, uh, I I might be the only person that I know that likes this movie, uh, and I don't know why I like it, is The Crazies. Never seen it. I saw it on the a remake list. or the original? The remake. I've never seen the original, but I, for whatever reason, I just, I can get behind that movie for some reason. I saw the remake on a list of scariest movies somewhere. Uh, I don't know that it's scary, it's just really violent. Um, I found, like, I'm probably the only person who, I like this movie. It's not necessarily a horror movie. There's horror elements. It's more of a sci-fi movie, but it's got monsters. So, I mean, I guess you get to put it in the horror genre. Um, I like it because I just, it's, I think it's a, it's a pretty decent movie. And, but I think a lot of people don't like it because they associate it with the sequel, which is a piece of fucking shit, uh, is Pitch Black. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like Pitch Black. Yeah. I like Chronicles of Riddick. Pitch Black doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> Scott. What's that? You're entitled to your own opinion. <laughs> I haven't seen any of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I think Pitch Black's really good. Chronicles Riddick is garbage. Yeah. Garbage. I think they're making another one, too. They are. Yeah. Because they're just so gay for Power Bottom Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> is that confirmed? Oh, he's a confirmed Power Bottom. There's okay. no way he's not. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, no, I'm thinking... Oh, and, well, no, never mind. No, fuck you. You can say whatever you want. Me and you... Me, you, and Rusty love this movie. Rusty quotes it on his Facebook page <laughs> all the time. Is the fucking Thirteenth Warrior? Yeah, that's not really. It's not really horror. It's just. It's just got killing and it, murder. And yeah, it starts off. Kinda, Antonio Banderas being a sexy man. It starts off that way, but then it's like, oh, these are not bear people. They're just yeah, people. yeah. <laughs> no, that's. I, I wouldn't put that in the horror genre at all. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, I'm from, Oh, God, I just thought another... Uh, I gotta stop looking around my room and thinking of things. Another really, really disappointing horror movie uh, that you and I watched, I believe, was Apollo 18. Yeah. I, I thought it would be really cool concept, and then the movie was just shit. Just that's, shit. That's what... Because, like, when I saw, like, a trailer and heard a bit about it, I'm like, oh, that sounds cool. Then I heard every review, every review and I'm like, oh... Not so good. No, yeah, it was very, very <laughs> disappointing. A huge letdown. Uh, but I guess I should have expected it from a found footage 1970s space shuttle. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, and like the ending was just stupid. Like, oh, these rock monsters that live on the moon. Crab rocks. Crab rocks that live on the moon. And like, oh, we brought all these back and gave them to uh, all the dictators of yeah. like... Stupid. Just Whoa. stupid. Okay, that sounds retarded. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not even good retarded. It's like like poorly acted, poorly filmed. Yeah. Like not not a good thing at all. But uh and then a good horror movie it's a, a good suspense thriller and it has horror aspects is a movie called Sunshine. Yeah. Which is really, really good. It's kind of dark. Is that where they drop, I, I, drop the bomb in the sun? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. I, ju I just watched that actually. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. It's great. Yeah, uh yeah. uh Freaking Cliff Curtis Scott. is really, really good in that movie. Yeah. Because he gets, really, like, he's, like, mellow but kind of crazy. Yep. Like, what what the, uh, have you heard of it, Nick? Yeah, I haven't seen it, but oh. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's oh, great. I love the concept of that they have to go stop the sun from yeah. like, not it's, it's, shining. Yeah, it's, it's the future, and the sun is dying, and if they don't... Re restart the sun then the it'll earth will out. just freeze yeah. and everybody will die but they've sent another one to go do it another spaceship and they've like lost all contact and stuff it's really cool yeah. I really love it great soundtrack too yeah. just like like score score, score, great score. it's got a good score it's got a good score for sure yeah, really cool but yeah that's a yeah, really good one it's Danny Boyle isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it was on it was on my Boyle list oh yeah. and what made you watch it just because you'd read stuff about it? Or? Uh, actually, uh, Chris, my friend from work that you know, oh. uh, said it was great, and it's his. he said it's his favorite score of all time. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It's very good. It's not my favorite score of all time. My favorite score of all time goes to Tron 2. I love me some Daft Punk. I like some Daft Punk. I really like that movie, too. It's yeah. so much fun. Oh, yeah, you, def Never you definitely yeah, commented thought, on my yeah, Facebook I thought, status. I thought when Tron I 2 was lots of fun. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people shit all over it because they were the hardcore, like, 80s Tron fans that are yeah. like, oh, we don't want a remake or a reboot of this. I've seen the 80s Tron. It's not that good. 
You yeah. see, here's the thing: it's for the time period. Oh, yeah, it was cool. great. Yeah. Now it does not hold up at all because no. it looks so terrible now. As is the thing with anything that's good at the time because of its effects. That yeah. that stuff that that only has its mark made based on effects is always going to hold up terribly. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Um, I have yet to see Tron. Yeah, it's Tron. Well, I, mean, I would Tron. argue that Tron Two has a more beautiful and more astonishing. Uh, alien world than Avatar did, even remotely got to. Yeah, I'd, I'd put him on par. I agree. For sure. I agree. Yeah. yeah, Avatar's world was just like Fern Gully. Well, yeah, like it, it wasn't that original. I mean, sure, it had like these creatures that you basically insert your penis into, hair penis or hair penis. But like the <laughs> the actual world itself, there was nothing uh, incredible about it. It's like, a rainforest. Yeah, it's rainforest. There's cliffs. Like yeah, okay, sure. There's floating rock pieces, but whatever. Fucking, that's nothing. Yeah, it's Fern Gully with glow paint. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, absolutely. At, at least, um, at least come up with something a little more original. <laughs> but that's James Cameron's dream. Remember when that almost won the Oscar? <laughs> Remember when that and the Last Airbender had the same movie name, and they had to change the Last Airbender because they thought it wouldn't do very well if it had the same name. Yeah. And then it didn't do well anyways. Because it was god awful. Because it was terrible. That was such a kick in the balls because I love that. The show is fantastic. Show. I'm never. I'm not a big Japanime fan. It's, it's not, not. It's not real Japanime. Well, it's, it's not, American. Japanime. I'm not a big anything of that genre fan. I'm not you guys. It's got crazy chewy. animals. It's got a platform. The there. only one I kind of <laughs> liked a little bit was uh, what's the all black one. Oh, uh, Boondocks. Boondocks. That one's okay. Bo- oh, oh, I thought I thought you were talking Afro Samurai. Oh, which one's the one with Samuel Jackson? Oh, Afro, Afro Samurai. Samurai. Okay, then Afro Samurai. Boondocks is a comedy. Oh yeah, no. Kids. Afro Samurai is the yeah. only one I've actually I actually enjoy. Yeah, Boondocks is actually done kind of anime style too. It's awesome. Yeah, I don't I didn't really like Boondocks. I've seen it before, but yeah. We're getting off topic from. We're getting off topic from the four hours of horror movies we've been talking about. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, do, I don't know. Do you want to do you want to keep going? Or do you want to end this? We should probably end it at some point. Okay, I guess I guess we can. So, we probably should end it. Yeah, because in other words, we're going to go for... F- but we should probably at least finish the episode. We're going to yeah. go for five <laughs> so, hours So I can then... still, in good conscience, only split this into three episodes and not four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I guess, uh, can, Scott, get anything to plug? Uh, well, your mom. Yeah, of course. And uh, besides that, nothing pressing right now. In the present. Kelly, you got nothing going down? No. Other than bouncing on my bed. Yeah. Uh, Nick, you got anything? I do actually. Oh, well, hey now. not really. Again, I'm I'm showing my I'm promoting my friends because I didn't actually do anything yet. Um, I am in a comedy troupe, I guess. Cool. I hope. Um, <laughs> it's called uh, Sunburnt Donut. Hmm. Um, Interesting. It's YouTube.com forward slash Sunburnt Donut. Um, we're gonna do like YouTube comedy videos and stuff. Right now, we only have one. We did one before the one we have now, um, which is uh, an Ultimate Warrior reality show. <laughs> um, Love which it. Which I think you guys would actually like. Um, and then we're going to start adding new stuff. Actually, a friend of mine uh, and I are going to start doing a web series called Dude and a Robot, um, <laughs> where it's basically Alf with a robot instead of an alien. <laughs> so, I like that. I, does, I have high hopes for it. I think it'll be Does fun. the robot eat um, cats? But, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> YouTube.com forward slash Sunburnt Donut. There is sunburntdonut.com, but there's nothing up there right now. Uh, they were going to say there is sunburntdonut.com, but they have no affiliation to us. <laughs> This is like the this uh, is like the time when my friend Clark thought that Hotmail was spelled hot M A L E. That's tremendous. I just want party. I uh, I am rescinding my previous statement of no plugs. And well, no, you can't say anything now. Fuck you. Oh no. Okay, fine, say it. Are we running out of time? Is there a strict four hour? We have or... legitimately a minute and thirty seconds before we hit four hours. So okay, let's, let's see do if we this. can nail it. Um, it is again not for me. I will plug a uh, friend of me and Kelly's. Go to yourmoviesucks.org. Uh, does has does some very good uh, movie reviews. funny funny movie reviews and also he does like, like he has like some legit like top tens and twenties for years of actual good movies as opposed to like reviews of Birdemic and stuff but uh, yeah I've I watched a few of his 
his bat is reviews of bad movies and they're very funny and well done. So your movie sucks dot org. Uh, I will plug my Twitter at Drew Sarian, uh, and then there are guys on there who have their own. Uh, I haven't really gotten in contact with them yet. They started following me, and then I followed them, and I haven't talked to them yet. But they what uh, what they do is they uh, schedule an online viewing of a certain movie on Netflix. So essentially, what you do is you go on Netflix at the same time as them, watch the same movie, and then you kind of tweet funny things about the movie as you're watching it, I so guess. So, like, like, interactive mystery science theater? Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but there's, they're, uh, twit flicks. Um, they're, yeah, they're funny guys. There's three dudes. I don't, I can't remember where Ten they're seconds. from. But, oh, no. oh, it's fine. We're, we're going past we're going four minutes because we still have to do shitheads. But, uh, yeah, those guys are cool. If you want to check them out, I don't, I'm not affiliated with them, and I hope they don't get mad that I'm like, putting them on my podcast and saying, listen to them. I don't think they'll get mad for plugging them. Yeah. Uh, That's okay. And then we will be, not like it matters, but we'll be in Seattle for a taping of... Oh, no, they're doing it here, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, never mind. We'll be in... Van- we'll be in Vancouver for a taping on, of the podcast we're no- ripping off. On November 17th at 4.20 for Ish. an actual taping of Doug Loves Movies. 4.20-ish. 4.20-ish. But yeah, Doug will be here recording his podcast, and I will be. We will all be making fantastic name tags. Stupid name tags. I can't. I was gonna go with my date with Drew and just put my face over Drew Barrymore's face, <laughs> but I decided I was gonna be more clever than that. Good. Are you guys going to try and or have you actually sent anything to Doug saying, "Hey, we completely ripped off your podcast"? I'm, I'm kind of afraid, dude. To be honest. Because if he, for some, I don't think he would, but if for whatever reason he got mad, then we'd just stop doing it. Then we feel like dicks. I don't think he'd get mad. I I don't know if the, I don't know what one I would send him or how I would bring it up. The, in a, in a different vein, we, um, we once, in 2007, oh, uh, we, did, we did a skit based on a, uh, a Patton Oswalt bit. But like I remember the, that. Yeah. I remember that fondly. Yeah, like the, the oh, Stellar yeah, yeah, Breakfast yeah, Street. Yeah, because you were, yeah, because you were at the show that uh, that it was a promo for. Um, yeah, and like, and and we sent that to. Oh no, actually, a friend of ours, Chris uh, Frank, Chris Frank uh, sent it to him. Uh, but I'm okay with that being said because it was like it was a different thing. Like his bit had never been like film, film put into yeah. visual media. So right. So yeah, and, and he liked it. He thought it was really cool, which was which was awesome. But this is literally just us doing the same thing as Doug Benson. So I don't know. I, I, like I wouldn't go out of my way to to send it to him. I, but again, I I think he would be fine with it. He'd probably be flattered. I I would just like my thing is I like I want to say to him like, hey man, we love your stuff. We've just been doing it, but like I don't want to do it in the sense of like, hey, can we go to show. <laughs> like yeah. I almost have the thought of like, hey, he's coming to Vancouver. Let's send it to him see if we can get on the show. Like, no, no, let's not be complete fags. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> but like, I don't know. Like, I'm sure he'd probably be okay with it. He seemed pretty cool when I almost got kicked out of his stand-up show. That's, that <laughs> yeah. is different, though. He's being recorded, and he has yeah. To- but he started yeah. the conversation with me. <laughs> I am forever on one of his albums because he. Asked if anybody in the audience was from Canada, and apparently it was only Scott and I. Yeah. I remember sitting legitimately front, and then he started a mini conversation with us. I answered a question. Drew answered one too many questions. He laughed, yeah. and then told me to shut up jokingly, and then was making jokes to the crowd, and his security guy came over and practically dragged me, dragged me out of the seating area, and him and his manager gave me shit for talking to him. Yeah. And I, so I'm on the pod, on his uh, album talking. <laughs> And then, and, then, and, then, and then silently getting almost kicked out. Yeah, yeah. And then I came back and, and I got let back and it was fine. And then the next day I tweeted saying like, oh, I almost got kicked out of the Doug Benson show last night, possibly for being a non-pot smoking Canadian seeing him on 420. And he tweeted me back and said like, oh, I'm glad you didn't get booted, dude. And I'm like, thanks. But I guess it's, he probably had <laughs> yeah. no idea what was going on. Although he was uncooked. So yeah, he probably, I don't know if he remembers or not, but yeah, who knows? But yeah, no. So I don't know. I'd be... Tend to be like, yeah, Doug, I almost got kicked out of one of your shows. Now we're ripping off your podcast. Make love to me. <laughs> Take that, dick. I want, I want you inside me. I want you inside me. Let's make babies. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. I think it more doesn't. than anything, he'd be more like, hey, we, we have this show. It's pretty much just your show because we like you so much. He'd be like, okay, whatever. Yeah. And then just... <laughs> and that's it. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Which would yeah. you want? Which would you want less? Would you want him to completely ignore it and just not be flattered at all, or would you? Would you? Would it be worse for him to be mad and be like, "Don't do that. You're stealing my stuff." See, if he didn't respond, I'd be concerned that he's like now thinking of something to do. Like, I don't know if he, he could take legal action, but you know, like, I'd be concerned that he'd be mad and then he would just not want to even acknowledge us. But like, if he was mad about it and said like, "Stop doing it," well, then there goes all of our fun. We yeah. just we just we just wouldn't be able to play the the game on a podcast. We could still talk about movies, but we wouldn't be able to be. Yeah. And the whole idea of doing the podcast was to play Leonard Maltin game. So. Right. I don't know. I think. I, I, it, it'd be bad either way. I just don't want to say anything to him, and then if it gets somehow gets to him, then it get gets to him. But I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go out of my way to say anything. Yeah. If he finds <laughs> it, I'm gonna be at that show in Vancouver and be like, before we start the show, where's the pricks who keep stealing my ass? <laughs> where's the I sucks dicks fans? That would actually be really funny. That would be <laughs> awesome. I would mark so hard. So yeah, actually, I think it'd be worse if he dicks. ignored it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the worst, and then the then yeah, then the not as bad as him yelling at us live at a comedy show. <laughs> Which would be goddamn awesome. Which would be pretty awesome. <laughs> what would even be even funnier, though, is if he not only, he's like, hey, where's the Ice Sucks Dicks guys? And you guys come up on stage, and then he brings Zach Galifianakis on stage, and he's like, <laughs> oh, no! Too? Oh, a double ambush. <laughs> <laughs> here's every, comedy scene. Just here's everyone Zach you have <laughs> stolen from. Well, and, then, and then, so, yeah, they bring on Zach, and then Zach Galifianakis <laughs> brings on Cartoon Network Adult Swim. <laughs> yeah, and they bring on How Did This Get Made, and they bring on Graham Elwood. Oh, no. And then we're just getting swarmed by people who are pissed at us for ripping off their and shit. And then the entire wrestling world. <laughs> Pat and I was going, I thought their video was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And God forbid brain damage and Mike Graham come back from the grave to come after me for shit talking them all podcast. It's pretty soon. If there, if ever there was a too soon, it was this. It was this. Here's the thing. I didn't like brain damage anymore than the other, or, you know, anymore than anyone else. I'd say but. for a brief period in 2006 or seven. Brain Damage was my favorite wrestler in the world, no shit. Because he was this huge, jacked, Terminator-looking motherfucker who face. did death matches, no-sold everything, and punched people right in the face. And to top it all off, the most adorable Trapper Keeper. Oh yeah, his <laughs> yeah. finisher was so cute for a giant man. <laughs> so low impact. Oh. But anyway, enough of disparaging the dead. Yeah, I think we should uh, mosey on into the sunset. <laughs> uh, probably sunset where Alex is right now. Sunrise. Oh, it's sunrise. Sunrise. sunrise where well, Alex. Yeah, legitimately, the sun is up. He's not awake yet. It's not afternoon. He's not, he's not up, but he won't be up till three because we kept him the up. The sun is coming up at Alex's right now, or close to. Or close to, yeah, yeah for sure. Which is ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So I guess we'll. Uh, We'll see y'all. We'll see y'all after Halloween. Yes. We yeah. know. Kelly, we run the show. We've done this before. <laughs> you weren't here last time. Oh, wait, you were here last time. No, you weren't. It was just us versus Alex, and Alex fucking creamed us. Yeah, I was here before them. Uh, he, he was here for nine. Where? Which oh yeah, we would you bang? bang? That's right. Uh, anyways, uh, until until next time. time. I'm looking at you, asshole. We'll go. Whatever writers this shit in. <laughs> I agree. Nick. Mark Barron is a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I'm... I'm a shithead for being an asshole to my friends Justin and Dan when they're not here. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they're fair game when they're not here. And Brain Damage's noose is a shithead. Oh. oh.